everything installed, uh, you've reinstalled Lion, you've done a few basic kind of system preferences changes, you might have fiddled around a bit. One of the first things you're going to want to do is set up iTunes. Uh, now, if you're just starting completely with a new machine, then that's easy. You just load up iTunes, just click it, and it will give you some options about what you want to do. Uh, if you've got media to add, that sort of thing. But if you're moving your music over from an old machine, whether that's um, from a Windows one or a Mac one, uh, it's quite a it's a fiddly process to make it work perfectly, but it's definitely doable. So I'm just going to run through that quickly. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure you've got the old uh, the old library copied onto your new machine. Uh, and then you're going to want to have two finder windows open. Now my music from, it was actually on this computer before, but because I reinstalled Lion, copied it off and so now I've copied it back on. I've just got it in the on the desktop in a folder called backups and then you see music there. So I've got all my old iTunes, all that sort of stuff in there. Uh, all I'm going to do is here, this finder window, uh, it's just, as you can see, it's just on my home. Uh, my home directory. So if I just go into music here, uh, and literally all I'm going to do uh, is just move all of this straight in here. Um, so now it's gone from the backups folder to my music folder on the iMac. Uh, so now if I click music, you see it's all there. With this done, uh, you can close these finder windows. All I'm going to do now is click on iTunes, load up iTunes. Uh, so just click on it down there, it'll bounce up and down for a bit. Spin the wheel for a bit. I have quite a large library. <laughs> okay, so it might take a while to check, so I'm going to skip ahead. I'll come back once it's finished checking. Okay, so iTunes has finally finished checking my library, and you can see this is the screen it's taking me to. So it's got a nice little iTunes tutorials thing here, so if you want to see what's new in iTunes, if you've never used iTunes before, then definitely recommend looking through some of these videos. Uh, it's all quite straightforward, but obviously if you've never seen it before, it'll be a bit of a big step. Um, there's little things at the side here, so tutorials for pretty much everything. Um, I'm going to close that for now and just go to the main point of the video. You can see now here, uh, in the little screen behind, there's all of my libraries here. Uh, all the songs are there. If I go into apps, all the apps are here. Um, it's just everything's there, all the iTunes U stuff, literally everything. Uh, and so that, that's all you needed to do to add it. You literally just copy the directories over. Uh, and provided you're on the most up-to-date iTunes uh, and the library that you're moving from was also made by an iTunes that was most up-to-date, then there shouldn't be any sort of conflicts with the library files or anything. Um, and then everything should appear. You've even got playlists. Um, and you can see my iPad here. You should be able to start syncing. Uh, backward devices again uh, pretty easily just it's nice and straightforward so there you go that's that's all it is thanks for watching